I really wonder if anyone's gonna realize that I forgot to put the candles on at the beginning of this video. But realistically, I don't want this hoodie to catch on fire or anyone to be like, you're about to catch on fire. So maybe it's best or it was meant to be that I don't like these candles for this video. So just wanted to let the good people know that the vibes are still set, but the boy just forgot today. Hold up. You gotta get the caffeine in the bloodstream. What's up YouTube, Kyron back up in here with another video and today we have another Chrome Hearts discussion video. I just wanted to touch on some topics that I didn't get a chance to note on for the last video. So now I'm going to be talking about those, uh, some new things that occurred, some things I want to brush you guys on. An update, who doesn't love an update? Come on now. Couple of topics on the board for today. We are going to go through the notes, handy dandy notes. So we have a few things. One main thing is that a lot of people weren't sure where to get Chrome Hearts online. So we're gonna talk about that. Second is minimal versus Chrome Hearts. Big, big, big topic of discussion in the fashion realm. I wanted to put in my two cents on that as well. And then finally, another video talking about Chrome Hearts in the future. Will I be doing it, et cetera, et cetera. So let's start on the first topic of discussion. Where can you guys pick up Chrome Hearts? online technically nowhere that is a account with chrome hearts except for holt renfrew and other stores of that nature if you guys are familiar with holt renfrew and you're in canada then you guys know what i'm talking about if not then um stores similar to like barney's uh, department stores rather holt renfrew is a store similar to that but they only carry the eyewear for chrome hearts and that's something that they do tend to give out leisurely they don't sell too much of the apparel or jewelry at a lot of other places other than the chrome hearts official stores so if you guys are looking for chrome hearts eyewear definitely there's a lot of other places that you could get it so that's just one thing i wanted to note on you can't get it anywhere online except for one place that i will be touching on shortly for the point being you cannot get chrome hearts online officially only in the official retailers that they have listed on their website of course where you can get it online that is 100 percent authentic and is not grailed or secondhand etc shout out to my boy eric he helped me find out the location of this actual store it is technically located in vancouver i also wanted to give a really big shout out to eric and his channel just because he's a, a great online friend of mine in this time of quarantine i started running and he like i've been chit chatting with him trying to talk about health fitness uh running all of that because he used to be a soccer player if i if i if i stand correct we we're just talking about that super amazing guy so if you guys have the time definitely go check out his channel he covers other things in relation to chrome hearts as well uh, i believe he went to the paris store and he's went to other stores and uh, i helped him with some information he's helped me so if you guys want another channel similar that covers fashion and also some Chrome Hearts related content, then definitely go check them out. I'll have them linked in the description below for sure. I remember him talking to me about this store, the, one of the first conversations that we had because he was curious as to how much Chrome Hearts truckers were at a retail price because these guys were charging upwards of like $400 for their hats. So technically these guys are not an official retailer with Chrome Hearts. I don't feel like I'm outing them. It's just straight facts, like you can't, missed that point when you're talking about this because i don't know if it's legal or not but they do have a lot of it available on their website and if you guys are curious to go check it out i'm gonna leave it as a link in the description for you guys because from what i know it's authentic and second it's in canada so that's a pretty close win-win for everyone uh i mean at least my canadians if you guys are in the u.s sucks to be you but they do have a good selection so if you want to check it out feel free to if you are tired of looking at grailed listings all the time which is completely fine but if you want something brand new i feel like this is great for you they're from vancouver if that helps you hopefully it does because a lot of people are asking me where you could acquire chrome hearts items online there you have it the cat is out of the bag on to the next topic of discussion minimal versus chrome hearts they had a lawsuit if you guys are familiar with the brand called minimal uh minimal la i don't know what it's called i've been approached by them a whole bunch of people have been approached by them on youtube and no shots to minimal at all the way i stand on brands like this that directly copy or are heavily inspired by other brands and want to make an affordable alternative i personally find like it is 
greedy to a certain extent to just completely capitalize off someone else's creativity although i do understand that there's other people out there that don't have the money or the means to spend their their hard-earned cash on a two thousand five hundred dollar pair of denim with crosses on it i get that but at the same time i feel like those people shouldn't be reaching so high if they know that they're it's out of their means so a alternative to me of the chrome hearts denim would be to get a normal pair of levi's without the crosses you don't need the crosses if you want the crosses you're going to save up your money and get the chrome hearts denim when you can and you have the means that's what i feel like an affordable alternative is or finding something that is what that item was inspired by so i have other videos on my channel where you could get items that are the reference item of what that luxury item is and i feel like that's a great alternative getting these brands that are kind of directly biting inspiration from it i don't feel like it's uh, appropriate or if it, it's like i don't feel like it's right um, but that's just my personal opinion obviously you guys can buy whatever you want anyone that wears minimal like that's completely up to you me personally not my favorite but um i i get why people would buy it but at the same time i feel like if you're trying to get an affordable alternative you could get so many other things aside from something that's kind of like fast fashion that isn't really fast fashion but in a way it is honestly if, if we're gonna be truthful so that's where i stand on the whole minimal and chrome heart situation let me know in the comments what you guys feel about it as well i feel like it was a kind of a, a crazy like thing to happen because as soon as it was up i put it on my story right away because it was pretty close to home because i just did that other chrome hearts video recently so let me know in the comments what you guys feel about the whole situation i feel like it was pretty entertaining and funny to see that they were like so quick to try and uh run off with a sack real quick and then that, the last topic of discussion before i get into the ending of this video is that there was uh pretty close to the timing of my last chrome hearts video to a hype beast video of a brand recap of chrome hearts so if you guys are familiar obviously hypebeast magazine or hypebeast.com uh they started to do this recent series where they go like behind the hype why something is so popular as a recent and i do notice that obviously chrome hearts is completely super hyped at this very moment in time so it's only fitting that the website would try and put something up on chrome hearts and they did a youtube video recently so if you guys want to go check that out i'll leave that in the description as well they go a little bit behind the brand history of chrome hearts and some of the interviews that richard stark has done so i feel like that was pretty cool and it's pretty condensed so if you guys want a quick brand recap that isn't uh, an article read such as the fashion moves forward one that i listed in the last description box this will be a bit easier for you to digest i'm pretty sure for those who like video information so yeah that's about it speaking of fashion moves forward i just recently did a interview with fashion moves forward so it was pretty crazy timeline wise right after i did that video i got contacted by them and it wasn't even in uh i don't even think it was directly linked it was just like in their plan so that was very exciting for me if you guys want any behind the scenes info or just like a cool read in this time of quarantine definitely go check out my interview with fashion moves forward it was great thank you jackson and alex for having me really appreciate it it was amazing uh having the opportunity to talk with you guys and hopefully once all of this is over i'll be on the podcast over there soon in new york so that's great news as well and the last and final thing um as a tribute to the chrome heart saga that i'm kind of doing right now the first one is great this one is kind of just a brush up recap um of everything that's going on related to the brand as of right now and just to kind of like tie it all together i feel like it's fitting that i should do like a mini chrome hearts collection video if that's okay with you guys or if you guys want that i don't even know if you guys would want that because it is not crazy expensive and it's not a lot of items but i feel like a lot of you guys know the items that i have but if you don't and you want it condensed and all in one place i feel like it's a cool video to make and i'll do them tried on and also all the prices that i paid versus what they're worth and etc cetera, etc cetera. i feel like that could be a cool video to make so if you guys are interested in that video i'm definitely down to make it just let me know in the comments below and also by hitting the like button if you guys are engaged with this video 
then I'll obviously make it. On a final note, I know that on the last Chrome Arts video, I did leave a playlist of the recent songs or just a compilation of songs that I really do enjoy for my Apple Music account. Uh, it was the first time me sharing a playlist so, and it got really good feedback. A lot of people seem to enjoy that. So I decided to make another one. This one is a bit more revised and more like um, vibe oriented. So like it kind of has different flows of uh, of genres, musics, uh, feels in general. So if you guys are interested, I made another one. It's called Current Teen. That will be in the description as, as well and only available on Apple Music because I just prefer that. Unfortunately, I don't like the user interface of Spotify. So that's not gonna happen. But uh, if you guys are interested in Spotify listening, I do have my friend that listens to similar music to me and he just recently made a playlist as well on Spotify. So I'll leave that as like a, a secondary option for you guys, but I did make a new playlist. If you guys want to check that out, make sure to go check it out. It'll be in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys appreciated that update recap slash type beat video. As for me, I'll be making plenty more videos in my time of quarantine, of course. If you guys want to stay up to date with me, with my social medias, G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E -E is where you can keep in contact with me uh, on Instagram, Fit Picks, this and that. That's what you guys can find on there. And all the other links will be in the description below of everything else that I mentioned. And yeah, so I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Peace.